Mheshimiwa Deputy President, Mheshimiwa Governor wetu, Waziri Mapiers, Wabunge, Wabunge wa County, Ndugu Wananchi wa Shauri Moyo na Nairobi Hamjambo. Nairobi Hoye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwanza mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu ametupatia nafasi. Leo tumefika hapa Islands, tumefika Kamkunji, tumefika hapa Shauri Moyo kwa sababu ya mambo ya maendeleo ya sehemu hii. Mimi kwanza nataka niwashukuru watu wa hapa Shauri Moyo na watu wa Kamkunji na watu wa Nairobi kwa sababu tuliomba kura zenu na mlitupatia asante sana narudia kusema asante sana na tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba hii Nairobi na Kenya tutaibadilisha na tutaibadilisha kwa mipango na kwa miradi na ndio sababu hiyo leo tumefika hapa ili tuweze kuendeleza yale tulikubaliana na nyinyi tuliwaambia kila mwaka for the next five years kila mwaka tutajenga minimum nyumba 1200 Kenya ili kwa muda wa miaka tano tujenge nyumba milioni moja. Mimi na furai ya kwamba hiyo safari tumeianzisha tayari tumepanga karibu ekari elfu nne katika miji tofauti tofauti. Tunafanya kazi na counties ambao tayari wameungana na sisi counties 39 ambao wako tayari na wako katika hii mpango wa affordable housing kwa sababu tunataka kupatia kila mkenya nafasi ya kuishi mahali ambapo panafaa mahali ma, 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 nyumba ambayo iko na stima iko na maji iko na choo iko na barabara iko na shule na iko na soko karibu mimi nataka muelewe hivi kazi hii ya affordable housing mnaona tunaikaza kabisa kwa sababu tunajua itatusaidia mambo matatu ya muhimu jambo la kwanza itatupatia makao hapa Nairobi wa Kenya zaidi ya milioni mbili wanaishi katika slum eh, informal settlements hawa wa Kenya wote wanaishi mahali ambapo hakuna barabara sawa sawa hakuna maji, hakuna choo, hakuna stima na ndio tunasema hapa Nairobi awamu yetu ya kwanza ya mambo ya affordable housing ndio tumeweka msingi na tumeweka mkazo mkubwa katika mji wetu wa Nairobi. Hii mjengo ambayo tunaanzisha hapa leo ni the third phase ya program yetu ya Nairobi. Mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Nairobi tutashirikiana tayari we have identified mahali ambazo tutajenga nyumba za hapa Nairobi na tutahakikisha ya kwamba watu wa Nairobi wanakuwa wa kwanza katika mambo ya ajira katika kazi kama hii tunaanzisha hapa mbali na kuwa na makao ni nafasi ya sisi kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana nimewasikiza kwa makini Mumesema ya kwamba tatizo kubwa ya watu wa shauri moyo hakuna kazi. Si ni kweli? Hapa katika mjengo huu tutakuwa na watu zaidi ya elfu tatu wataamuka asubuhi na jioni for the next two years. Kwa miaka miwili ijayo mtaamuka hapa kazini na mtaenda nyumbani na riziki kwa sababu huyu contractor wetu tumekubaliana hakuna fundi anatoka sehemu nyingine. Hakuna mtu anatoka sehemu nyingine plamba ama mtu electrician ama yule mason ama carpenter wote watakuwa watu wa shauri moyo watu wa kamkunji Tunaelewana jameni jambo la tatu ambayo inatufanya tufanye hii program 
ya housing ni kwa sababu tunataka kupanua biashara. Katika mjengo huu mbali na huyu contractor mkubwa mumesikia kwamba tutakuwa na micro enterprises, small and medium enterprises ambao hii meza mmeona hapo tutaweka sahihi mkataba saa hizi. Tunataka watu wajua kali wale ambao watatutengenezea madirisha wale ambao watatutengenezea milango tuandikiane na, na wao hapa watutengenezee milango elfu ine na mia ine na watutengenezee madirisha elfu kumi na ine tuhakikisha kwamba vijana wa Islands hata na wao wanapata kisehemu ya hii construction ambayo itaendelea hapa pia na wao wajumuike katika biashara zao katika ujenzi ambao utaendelea hapa vile vile hapa Islands hapa makongeni nimekubaliana na gavana na watu wa Nairobi wanione Thursday kwa sababu hapa tuko na mradi ya nyumba karibu elfu hamsini ambayo tunataka kujenga just here in makongeni na ambayo itatupatia nafasi ya kazi zaidi ya elfu mia moja. wale vijana wote mnaona wana wanaangaika hapa tunataka kuwapeleka pale watujengee nyumba elfu hamsini hapa makongeni imebaki mambo machache kutoelewana kidogo na nimesema hii Thursday nataka kutatua hiyo maneno ndio contractors kwa sababu wako tayari wale wa kutusaidia kujenga hiyo manyumba wako tayari wako na pesa tayari ile confusion kidogo imeto, imetokea tunataka kutatua because we want to change the city of Nairobi tunaelewana jameni mbali na hiyo tuko na mipango ingine mingi ya city yetu ya Nairobi na as we made a commitment to the people of Nairobi that we are going to change the face of Nairobi and we are going to eliminate ile slums yote iko katika mji wetu wa Nairobi in due time we will change them into estates that are livable where Kenyans can live with dignity and respect tunaelewana jameni vile vile mimi nataka mjue ya kwamba hii mradi mkia tunajenga tuko na mikataba na 39 tayari na tutafanya vile tunafanya hapa in all the other counties because we want to transform our nation hapa kiambiu ni slum kubwa manyumba ni ya mabati watu wa kiambiu nataka muende muwaeleze hasla amesema tutabadilisha manyumba yao ya mabati tutajenga nyumba kama ile tunajenga hapa pale kiambiu kwa sababu mimi ndio amiri jeshi mkuu wale KDF ni Kenya Defense Force kumaanisha wao ni wa Kenya pia na wanajua umuhimu wa city ya Nairobi tayari nimeketi chini na wao na tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutabadilisha city ya Nairobi ikiwemo Kamkunji ikiwemo Isli ikiwemo hiyo kiambiu so hiyo estate mimi nataka nimwambie bwana Hinga na bwana Njeru ambaye ni waziri wetu muanze kupanga sasa mambo ya kiambiu vile tutajenga na tutahakikisha wewe mheshimiwa ukiwa hapo tunaelewana tutahakikisha kwamba watu wa kwanza watakaopata nyumba mzuri yenye imejengwa vizuri iko na maji na choo na taa na kila kitu na barabara na shule ni watu wa kiambiu watakuwa namba wana. alafu tutapanga wa Kenya wengine baadaye tunaelewana ndugu zangu so kiambiu will be our next phase and i want proper planning the same way we are doing in kibra we want to do it in kiambiu so that we can salvage the millions of people i'm told 30000 people live in kiambiu where there is no proper planning there is no road there is no uh, hospital there is no school haiwezekani katikati ya mji wa nairobi eti kuna mahali hakuna shule ati hakuna uh, hospitali hiyo ni makosa makubwa sana and we are going to rectify it because we want to do the right thing for the people of the city of Nairobi 
Mimi vile vile nataka niwaambie hapa kwa sababu hapa hawa watu wangu wa wizara walikuwa wamepe, wamepanga tujenge nyumba gorofa sita. Lakini nimewaambia hapa Nairobi ardhi ni kidogo sana na haipatikani kwa uraisi. So tumekubaliana manyumba hapa sio gorofa sita, ni gorofa na tano. Nataka tuelewane na huyu contractor si umesikia wewe wana contractor 25 stories tumekubaliana na wewe enda, inga enda tubadilisha sasa mchoro ikae sawa sawa huyu governor wetu sakaja ataweka tick wananchi wa Nairobi waendelee kujengewa <coughs> tunaelewana jambo la pili mimi nataka nyumba 50% nataka munisikize vizuri 50% ya nyumba hapa ambazo zitajengwa iwe chini ya shilingi elfu saba mtu wanalipa na nyumba ikue yake baada ya miaka kumi ama miaka kumi na tano. I want us to agree. Tunaelewana? Na ile ya chini iwe shilingi elfu tano. Kila mwezi mtu walipe, ndio mambo iendelee mbele. Mimi nataka ni waulize tafadhali. Tunataka hapa kiambiu. Pale kiambiu kama mtu wanalipa 4,000 nyumba yake ya rent. Tunataka nyumba ijengwe pale ya 4,000 mortgage. Baada ya meka kuminatano wa maishirini, iyo nyumba iwe ya mwenyewe, aendelee na kuishi hapa. That is the nation we want to build. Mbali na kujenga hii mahali, tuko na shule hapa ya ishima. Sinikweli? Tumekubaliana kwa sababu watu watakuja kuishi hapa na watakuwa na watoto. Ile shule iko pale haiwezi kutosha watoto wote. Tumekubaliana contractor ataongeza shule madarasa nane hapo katika Heshima Primary. Tumekubaliana vile vile our, our Lady of Mercy Secondary ajenge dormitory na ajenge madarasa mengine manne ili watoto watakao kuja kuishi hapa wapate mahali ya kwenda kusomea pale tumekubaliana vile vile na mheshimiwa waanze kuandika vizuri ndio ufuatilie tumekubaliana our lady of mercy primary school pia tujenge madarasa manane katika kupitia kwa mradi huu ndio watoto pia wapate mahali ya kusoma hapa hapa katika mjengo huu tutakuwa na soko ambaye tutapatia county government tutakuwa na soko hapa soko tatu yenye gorofa ine kila soko in this place mama mboga na wale wengine wote na mahali pasafi watauza chakula watafanya biashara na tubadilishe sura ya city ya Nairobi hapa hapa tumeshakubaliana na county government ya Nairobi katika market yetu kubwa hapa si tulikubaliana bwana governor kabisa <laughs> hiyo soko tumesema tunatengeneza title deed saa hizi ya hiyo hiyo soko ndio watu waache mchezo na tukimaliza kutengeneza, kutengeneza title deed ya hiyo soko tutaweka pesa ya kujenga soko huyu hinga anajua what to do Hii soko ya hapa. Kwa sababu we want a modern city that is organized, a modern city that has dignity and that has respect for the people who live in the capital city of Kenya. Hii city haiwezi kuwa capital city kama tunakaa vile tumekaa tu kienyeji namna hii. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Tuko pamoja? Vile vile mmeniambia kuhusu Kinyago Kanugu. Mmesema hakuna title deed. Bwana Njeru wewe ndio waziri mimi nimekupatia kalamu 90 days unipatie report kwa nini hao watu hawana title deeds 90 days kama ni survey huyu governor atatoa pesa tufanye survey alafu tupatiane title deeds wananchi wasonge mbele na tukae chonjo mwisho mimi nataka niwaambie vile vile ninajua tuko na matatizo na Kenya Power imezima sehemu nyingi Nairobi Nilipatiwa, niliwapatia amri ya kwamba wasuluhishe hiyo maneno na county government ya Nairobi. Mimi nataka nirudie tena hapa leo ya kwamba 
watu wale wa Kenya Power waketi chini na county government ya Nairobi tujue kama ni blue estate kama ni sehemu gani ya Nairobi mahali popote ambapo pamekatiwa stima tujue ni kwa sababu gani stima irudishwe na wananchi wapangwe vile watalipia hiyo stima wenyewe how do you penalize how do you penalize somebody who is using electricity na hujaenda kumuuliza akulipe akakataa kama hujaenda kumuuliza akulipe akakataa unakata stima kwa sababu gani si ni kazi ya Kenya Power kujua nani ana ako na stima waende kwa kila nyumba yenye iko stima wawekee kila mtu mita alafu waanze kulipisha sio kama tunaelewana it is as simple as that if a citizen is already connected to electricity by whatever means go and meter the power that he is consuming and charge him or her so that if they don't pay then you can disconnect when they have a meter in their house lakini kwenda kuzima a whole estate kwenda kuzima kiwanja mzima hiyo ni kiburi yenye ya kupindukia mimi sijui wanafikiria namna gani sijui kama tunaelewana jameni tunaelewana so my good friends at the Kenya Power and Lighting Company it is your responsibility to connect Kenyans to electricity if you find that a citizen has been collected has been connected to electricity by whatever means go and put a meter and begin to charge them don't switch off a whole estate Hiyo kama tumeelewana jameni. Hiyo kazi ndio tunataka tufanye. Mimi nataka niwaeleze watu wa Kanairo ya kwamba hii mpango tutafanya pamoja. Hawa viongozi wote sisi tulishasema tayari ya kwamba sisi tuko tayari kufanya kazi na viongozi wote. Nimeona eh, ndugu yangu eh, eh, mjumbe wa hapa bwana Hassan amesema ya kwamba tufanye kazi ya maendeleo. Kwani iko kazi nyingine imebaki gani? Si ile asiasa tulimaliza? It's the only outstanding business. At, atuwezi kuombana kura saa hii, si kura tulimaliza. So there is no other job for us to do. So hakuna haja ya kuqualify ati tufanye tu kazi ya maendeleo hapana because hakuna kazi nyingine. Hakuna kazi nyingine ya kufanya. Ile imebaki sasa ni ya ni ama ile ama endeleo si ndio ama namna gani wadosi eh hey, ile kazi nyingine tulimaliza si ni kweli hawa majamaa wengine tu wanajaribu jaribu pia unajua sasa kujaribu naye ni hivyo tu kuna problem so <laughs> watakuja kutulia so waambie wa relax kidogo na waje waache unajua wa, wa, waache nipange hii kazi kazi hii walishindwa nasikia <laughs> kazi kazi walishindwa si ndio mpaka unga ikafika 230 saa hizi waache niweke mutaratara mzuri ndio tuzalishe chakula si tunaelewana tu tulifika hapa mahali unga ilifika 230 kwa sababu ya kukosa mpango so wa, wa, tulize boli nipange kazi waache hizo zao sio kama tunaelewana eh unga haitoki kwa shelf unga haitoki kwa supermarket ni mahindi inapandwa shambani saa hizi napanga wakulima milioni tano nimewasajili nimewapatia mbegu na mbolea ndio tuzalishe chakula ya kutosha waache kimbele mbele nipange maneno hii hawawezi na hawajui sio kama tunaelewana jameni tuko pamoja so watulize boli ya yeah. na Kenya tunasongesha mbele tukiwa pamoja mimi nataka niwashukuru sana watu wa Nairobi na mjue ya kwamba I will make sure I will make sure that every citizen of the Republic of Kenya 
is part and parcel of the development of Kenya, irrespective of how they voted. Hiyo mimi nitafanya. Kwa sababu hakuna rais mwingine wa Kenya ni mimi. Si ndivyo? So, nitahakikisha nitahakikisha wana speaker usikuwe na wasiwasi nitahakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya anashughulikiwa na serikali ya Kenya ile mimi siwezi kufanya ni kukubali ati watu wachache ati wanilete ati wanibebe ati nishughulike na mambo yao na mambo ya familia yao ati na biashara yao ni wache kazi ya wananchi milioni hamsini hiyo sitafanya that one i will not do eh tukubaliana tu mapema ama namna gani jameni situshughulike na wakenya wote tushughulike na kazi ya wakenya wote sasa mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa Kanairo sasa nyinyi wangwana watoto wenu mumewapeleka bunge kule Arusha mumewapeleka wengine ngambo alafu watoto wa hawa wa Kenya ati mnawapeleka Kamukunji ati na Chagaranda ati waende watu wapigane mawe ah bwana kwani mnatuona tuko wafala kiasi gani yani mnachukulia wa Kenya wako wafala kiasi gani mambo ya watoto wenu na biashara zenu mnapanga alafu ya hawa wengine mnataka kuwapiganisha hapa that i will not allow we want the children of every Kenyan mtoto wa kila mkenya apate nafasi sawa na mkenya mwingine ama namna gani jameni kana hilo tunaelewana na ndio mnajua hatuwezi kwenda hiyo barabara wanataka ati ya kugombana na wao sijui nini barabara mimi tumeshika ni hii tunapanga ajira ya hawa vijana tutajenga hizi manyumba tutahakikisha uh, kwamba tunazalisha chakula tutaweka agro processing tutaweka value addition to the digitize government services tuhakikisha kwamba kila mkenya anashughulika anaweza kupata huduma ya serikali bila ya kuangaika that is what we are going to do for the citizens of the republic of kenya my good friends wale mnafikiri ya kwamba mnaweza kututisha ati na kutufanyia sijui nini mimi nataka niwaambie tulizeni boli mambo bado. Eh. Hey. Na mtajua hamujui. Tunaelewana jameni? Eh, hey, namna hiyo. Hii Kenya si ya watu mbili tatu sijui. Ah bana bana. Hata mahasla hawa wako na, na wako na nafasi ya kupata mahali ya kuishi hapa Nairobi. Nyumba mzuri, iko na maji, iko na stima, tuendelee mbele. Tuko pamoja Kanairo? Tuendelee na hii mutaratara. Iende sawa. Mimi nawapenda sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu. Thank you very much. Mimi God bless you.